Hi guys, LC Fever here. Once it's 9 to 1 rated, headline is Illichich, player review. I decided to pick up this guy after his recent upgrade on last week's team of the week. It's relatively cheap considering his rating and the stats on his card. Anyway, this is the team I started him in, with Van der Sar in goal. Mendy, Lengley, Ogbonna and Pereira in defence. Kante, Sané, Rivaldo, Lineker and Shakira in midfield, with Illichich in attack. He's 6 foot through with medium attack and medium defensive work rates. His left foot has a 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. Looking at his in-game stats, he's got 86 acceleration, 91 attack positioning, 89 finishing, 97 shot power, 98 long shots, 96 vision, 90 crossing, 94 free kick accuracy, 95 short passing, 94 curve, 98 ball control and dribbling, and finally 89 composure. Going over to his traits page, he has the finesse shot trait and flare trait. So to begin, I'll start with his shooting, which for me was the best aspect of the card. Despite having medium medium work rates, his attack positioning allows him to make runs in behind the defence and into open space, allowing you to get into those goal scoring areas. Although I do use player instructions which also helps him make the type of runs I want. His finishing on the hole was great, he did miss the odd chance including hitting the post a few times, but this is something you'll see with pretty much every player this year. The biggest thing I noticed that made some of his shots unstoppable was the amount of power he got behind the ball. With a rating of 97 boosted to 99 with the Hunter Chemistry style, his shots more often than not have already gone past the goalkeeper before he enters the dive animation. This combined with his 98 long shots makes him deadly from outside the box, and I did manage to score a couple of amazing long shots, which is something I've struggled to do a lot this year. Hitting it straight with power causes the keeper a lot of problems, not to mention the fact he also has the finesse shot trait. This Illicic card has to be up there as one of the best players to shoot with outside the box this year, without a doubt. His volleys also seem very accurate, I only managed to score one half volley, but that was also a finesse shot from outside the box. Free kick wise, the circle remains very small even when putting a decent amount of power behind the ball, and it stays close to where you aim it. 86 penalties again are more than good enough accuracy wise, and you'd only really missed him due to user error. Passing on this card was also great, he doesn't have the passing ability of an out and out top end midfielder like De Bruyne as he simply doesn't get the same passing animations. That's not to say you can't play him as a cam, in fact, I often switch him between the striker and cam role, which I'll discuss later. He never misplaced a short pass which is the most important thing, even if he was at a strange angle or there was an opponent nearby, he managed to hit my player without the need to move much. His long passing was also good, and this is where in my opinion you'll notice the biggest difference between this card and an elite midfielder. One important thing to mention is that his passing felt very direct and didn't seem to have much curve put on them. This wasn't a massive issue, because I still managed to pick out my players, but it's something that I noticed. 89 composure didn't seem to affect his passing or shooting negatively, so this has to be nothing but a positive. Dribbling as a whole was okay with this card, his actual dribbling is good when either running without sprinting, or once he got going you could tell he had decent ball control and dribbling stats in the 90s. What lets it down however is his agility and balance in combination with his height. This made it difficult for him to make sharp turns both on and off the ball, and if he did this while sprinting, which would cause him to take a heavy touch, it could sometimes give possession away. Another issue I found was his first touch when entering sprint would also sometimes be a little heavy, which is again a problem especially if you find yourself close to your opponent's defence. The last thing I want to mention about his dribbling is that he has 4 star skill moves which is great for any player in FIFA, especially a striker or a cam. 4 star is more than good enough to allow you to do the majority of skill moves in this game. His pace was decent for me, Illichich managed to break away from defences thanks to his attack positioning, even against some of the faster centre backs. I'd also recommend applying something that boosts his pace to make him as fast as you can get, Hunter being the best option in my opinion. However his pace could hold you back in some cases, and it depends on how your opponent defends in this game. In these situations, I'd decide to switch him in a cam position, so I would recommend if you do want to play him in strike, that you have someone in your team you could either switch position with, or sub on if you feel he isn't working as a striker in a particular game. His strength was okay depending on who was challenging him, he did manage to hold off a few people, but I wouldn't do this for a long period of time, just enough to either pass the ball or get the shot off. The final positive was that he actually managed to get a few decent interceptions for me, mainly whilst he was playing in midfield, picking up the ball high in midfield is great for starting up counter attacks, especially if you'd like to keep your pressure on your opponent. Now onto the negatives, and the first thing I'm going to mention is his medium medium work rates in the cam position. Although he has great passing, which is decent in the cam role, his work rate sometimes held back his attacking ability. The problem with this is that one of the best aspects of the card is his shooting ability, and due to his work rates it can mean he isn't always in the position you'd like him to be in. The next negative is his weak foot, which although it's rated at 4 star was disappointing for me. I had a couple of chances on his right foot, one which you would probably expect to score with someone with a 4 star weak foot, but unfortunately he didn't even hit the target. 
His stamina is also a fairly average in game, which you might expect to be being rated at 79. He could last until around the 70th minute without his stamina causing any issues. After this point, he begins to get a little tired, and if you're in the weekend league, I can't see him being very usable in extra time. The final negative is his jumping. Although he's 6 foot 3, he doesn't really attempt to jump most of the time in those pressure situations. The first goal I scored him was a header, so he is capable of using his head to pass and shoot. However, he was completely unmarked in this situation. So overall, I'm going to give this 91 headline at Illichich an 8.8 out of 10. For the price, this is a great car to use, and if you can use attacking players with low agility, then this guy could be a great goal scorer for your team. His long shots are like nothing I've seen on this game outside of top end cards where 500k plus. Not to mention his passing ability, which again is great, and the boost in pace from his base version makes him a usable option for a striker or midfielder in the weekend league. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And to request any future content, then please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to reply.